Hello, this is Steve in 4LQ. I'm going to demonstrate how to connect the IC7300 and the MFJ noise canceling signal enhancer together uh, to eliminate line noise problems. The uh, situation here is pretty bad, on, uh, especially on 160 meters. And as you can see here, we've got a, uh, a lot of noise, and I'm turning the volume up. To get a good example of it, I'm using the AM mode. As you can see, we've got a S9 Plus signal here. And um, I'm going to turn on the signal canceling device to show you what it'll do just push the button here and as you can see the noise on our frequency that we are tuned to here has gone away and then you can see it come back up on either side but where we are listening it's uh, it's totally gone and all we're hearing now is just a bit of atmospheric noise. So, to install one of these, I use the NRAD RX7300 adapter, receive antenna adapter. And I'll show you here on the back how it's connected. There's the two jacks. Now the one on the far side here is your receiver. Or that, no, excuse me, that is your main antenna output, and then this one is your actual receiver inside the radio. So there's two coax cables coming out, and if you want to bypass this, you simply take a jumper and go across here. So anyway, I came out here with two coaxes, and my uh, receiver output is going back here on the back of the MFJ1026 to the uh, the main antenna as you can see here the main antenna input and then the um, uh, the one that's marked radio goes to our uh, receive receiver input on the IC7300 and then your uh, your antenna, your main antenna, all connects to the uh, IC7300 as always. So the MFJ has a uh, auxiliary antenna jack on it. And that's where we want to feed our receive antenna. So so this coax here is our receive antenna and um, I'm going through a DX engineering receiver guard this is the RG5000 HD and this orange cable goes to our uh, receiving antenna which is a long a long wire antenna for 160 so it does a very good job of picking up noise and that's what you want you want your your receive antenna to be a good noise pickup receiver <laughs> and a good noise picking up receiving antenna so that's how it's hooked up um, we're not running our transmitter through the MFJ at all our main antenna uh, for transmitting is still connected to the uh, to the 7300 as usual and all we're doing is uh, feeding our receive antenna through this processor and then back into the receiver of the IC7300 so there's one good example of how you can take advantage of the uh, the NRAD uh, receive antenna adapter um, as far as adjusting this goes, I made a website many years ago when I had a K3, and uh, I'm going to put a link down below here, 
and you can look it up and see how it's connected to the K3 and it's uh, basically the same. Um, uh, actually it's a little bit easier because there's no menu to have to fool with or any buttons. You just hook it up and when you turn it off you're back to normal and you're receiving and transmitting as you always did. But you can see the noise is so strong that my OVF light is flashing randomly. And um, you can turn on the noise blanker and it takes away some of the noise, but as you can see, we still got a lot of signal there on the scope at least. You know, it's a very good noise blanker. So, um, the trick to adjusting this. Uh, MFJ, and I hope you all can see this, is to get an equal signal level input into your 7300 from both the main antenna and the receive antenna. And in order to accomplish that, you can juggle these two, these two here, these two gain controls and get them to be the same on your screen. In other words, I'm going to turn this on and you can pretty well hear what happens. If I turn down the gain of my receive antenna, the noise comes up. If I turn it up too high, the noise comes up. So I'm sort of dipping it right there. And if you watch the screen, there's with it turned down and here is with it nulled and here is with it turned up. So what I'm doing, I'm blending the two signals from the two antennas together and when I have them the same strength I get maximum cancelization. Then the other thing that you have to adjust is the phase. And the uh, the phase control here really has three buttons. Uh, the frequency, uh, high and low, and the phase is either normal or um, inverted. So when I have the phase misadjusted, your noise comes back and it's pretty touchy. You just turn it for a null right there. And you, you may have to try both invert, inverted and uh, normal phase. If I flip this to, uh, let's see, this is inverted. And then we got the noise. And then with it in normal mode the noise goes away and then you can try tuning each one of these for maximum <clears throat> maximum effect frequency uh, generally 160 and 80 are uh, considered low and you leave your button out sunshine is shining in here and it's kind of uh, washing out the camera but there you can see it's out on 160 and of course the noise will come back if it's in the wrong position uh, there is a preamp button for the antenna gain and uh, it, with it off you're going to need more gain and I can't even get it to dip without the preamp on. Usually I end up with the preamp turned on. So this thing is uh, the MFJ 1026. Here you can see the model number. It's a very, very uh, 
effective, high quality little device. So, um, also I have in series with the receive antenna, I've got a broadcast band filter that's uh, back here. <clears throat> and this one is from uh, www.rescueelectronics.com <clears throat> and you can see here the, uh, the minus 10 dB point is 1750 KCs and then by the time you get down to 960 KCs the uh, attenuation is minus 60 so that that makes things even better yeah I really do like this uh, auxiliary receive antenna jack from NRAD so there you go thanks for watching